All right, first and foremost, I'm going to start off by saying, Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. The Balano to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And Shalom to you, sincere Akim out there listening and learning and pushing the truth. And I Shalom to the few sisters that's out there listening also. All right. Um, I'm going to jump straight into this video. Um, Lord willing, it's not too long. I got to go to the plantation in a few. All right. But um, I just want to address something right quick. All right. Um, I'm going to address because I see this video went viral. I got like 3,000 views on it. 3,000. 3.3k 3 3 views on it, all right? It's from a week ago. It's uh, the Jig Is Up Esau, Danny Glover. Uh, Jig Is Up Esau, Danny Glover, onto you, Red Hebrew Edomite, is what I had put, right? And um, like I said, I, 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 I'm always putting up videos, and I thought it was odd that that video got so many views. That you see my videos get six views, five views. <laughs> and I've been putting up videos forever, man, all right? And I just thought it was odd that this video here got so many views. But I already know why it got so many <laughs> views. It's because uh, Jake is simple, man. Jake is J Jake is very simple, all right? So anytime, that's why I, I even name my channel the what I name it as, all right? Because I'm a part of GMS. I'm in a camp. But I don't put the GMS um, moniker on my uh, channel, right? I don't put that tag on there for a reason. Like I always say, I do my videos for the hopeful elect, okay? The sincere Akiam out there, all right? The sincere brothers, all right? And with that being said, um, this, the Lord put the spirit on me to just title it this, right? Uh, and I, and I, when the thumbnail came up, I put Danny Glover in there. That was all the spirit. And I know that's why 99% of you clicked on that video. It's because of the title. It was a catchy name and the fucking thumbnail. You motherfuckers aren't sincere, man. You ain't sincere. Don't watch my goddamn videos. If you don't like my videos, turn the fucking shit off, okay? I don't need your fucking comments. I don't care about your comments, okay? Now, I will say that um, there was a couple, you know, you know. of course the brothers came through and put uh, put um, put some stuff, you know, some good comments, you know, showing love. And it was either a sister that put, um, you know, they were talking about how I was sniffling in the video and shit, which I have allergies, all right? I have allergies. Sometimes I have a cold, you know, whatever it is. It is what it is, man. But what about the message? Okay. What about the message? All right. I'm trying to look for, look for some of the comments, man. Uh, right here. Kuya. Damn. I wish you would just let the thing play and be quiet. Damn, man. 16 likes, right? Let me look, click on this guy. And it's always bug outs like this with nothing on their fucking page. Zero subscribers. And nothing there. Every time I clicked on them, there's just a bunch of fucking bug outs. Man. All right, first and foremost, I want to start off by saying. And also, I gave you the fucking link. I showed you where it was at. You can see it's on the Real News Network. You can go do your own fucking research. If you don't want to watch my video, if I'm sniffling, if I'm pausing it too much, you fucking lazy fucks, go watch the video of your goddamn self, but you're not. You're just here to scoff and scorn. You should let him talk and do your commentary. Okay, let me, Veronica Anthony. The fuck is this bullshit? She just re uploads shit from Adam Abbott, HOI. She's lost, man. She don't know what the fuck is going on. Like I said, 99, and we're not yeah. people under Satan's devices. A lot of these people, a lot of these views, a lot of these comments we know are bots, man. Agents, agent provocateurs. Um, please stop talking till the video. Please stop talking till the video finished, dude. You talk too much, let it play, bro. First of all, I'm not your fucking bro. I'm not your bro. And like I said, if you have so much input, why the fuck don't you put up videos, Mr. Thomas Perry? Now I can go on and on and on. All the ones that talk shit are the ones with not a goddamn thing on their page, man. Okay? But like I said, that doesn't even... I'm not even upset at that. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. But I just want to say, like I said, we always say we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. That's why I don't type... That's why I don't have the GMS on my name. I don't want you fucking scoffers on my page. I'm not going to respond to you anymore. The sincere brothers, the sincere sisters, you got a sincere question, I'll answer you. But I don't have time for these scoffers, man, okay? Like I said, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And you are one of Satan's devices, man, okay? You have your father, the devil. You're one of his devices, okay? Just like in the Matrix, uh, the agents could jump into the different bodies. That's what you niggas are, okay? Satan's devices, vessels, vessels for Satan to enter, Okay? <laughs> I just snorted just now. Nigga, turn the video off if you don't want to fucking watch it. Okay? 
like I said, uh, I'm gonna get uh, I'm going to the scriptures. I'm a little heated, so I'm a little hot, <laughs> but it is what it is. All right, it's a Second Timothy. Uh, lock it. Second, uh, Second Timothy. I'm gonna start at. Uh, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Second Timothy four and two. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. Okay, so let's just analyze that. It didn't say fucking preach the word when you only feel good. Preach the word when you got time. Preach the word when you when you're not sick. Preach the word when you don't have allergies. Motherfucker, you 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 niggas go sacrifice and go to Esau slavery, don't you? You go to the work, the job's sick. All right, you bow down backwards for Esau. The least you could do is make your body a living sacrifice and put up videos. So if I find, if I deem that I, I, I found a video that was edifying, instead of you, you, you niggas just be be uh, thankful that a brother is trying to edify you, you're going to scoff and scorn. But that's your fucking lot because you are a scoffer and a scorner. And the Lord, the Lord rejected you niggas any goddamn way. All right. So Second Timothy said, preach, be, be constant, man. Be, preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Okay? Whether you feel good or not, you're supposed to be pushing this word. Okay? And you should consider in your bird brain fucking mind that maybe that's a sincere brother. I don't fucking edit my videos. I, I'm not doing none of that shit. I put my shit up raw. Raw, uncut. Okay? Raw and uncut. If you don't like it, turn the fucking shit off. Kick rocks and fuck off. Alright? It says, for the time will come when they will know Will, when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall heap, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And a lot of the comments said, I couldn't even, I couldn't even listen to five minutes. I couldn't even listen to four minutes. Why? Because the Lord wanted you to turn the fuck away. Okay, that was a stumbling block, a snare, because if He didn't really want you, that video wasn't there for you. Who told you niggas to flee from the wrath to come? Who told you to come on my goddamn videos? Nobody, okay? Nobody. My videos are for the hopeful elect, the sincere Akiam and Akwath, okay? Fuck you scoffers. Um, all right? <laughs> Straight like that, man. Got me fired up before I go to the go to the plantation. Uh, Romans 11 and 9. And David said, saith, let their table be made. Of King David, okay? King David said this. All right. And I'm going to get it in the Psalms, what King David actually said. Uh, this is Romans 11 and 9. And David saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not that they may not see and bow down their back all way. OK, so that the, the Lord man's going of the Lord, you dumb fucks. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put the spirit on me to make that video. Everything it meant. He put the spirit on Danny Glover to go down there and do that interview. He put the spirit on me to find that video. He put the spirit on you to find that goddamn video. Man's going to the Lord. So you, it would beg to say, if you believe in the how Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's the supreme being. He controls everything. Don't you dumb fucks think that I was sick for a reason? He made me to be sick. That way you can come on the comment board and scoff, okay? So it can be a snare and a stumbling block and a trap onto you niggas, man. You stealing your fate. Instead of you just go your own, even if you disagree, keep it pushing, man. Put a little thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. And, and keep it pushing. But no, you niggas want to seal your fate. You must be seen. Because the Lord is putting that spirit on you. So he can mark you niggas for death. Okay? You know, you ain't bold enough to come out to the camp and talk shit. So what you niggas do is you come on the comment boards and talk shit. Thinking you're going to get away. But you ain't going to get away. Because the angels is watching you niggas, man. Every fucking thing you do is being accounted for. And you will fucking pay for that shit. And I'm cursing a lot because I'm heated, man. I'm heated for the stupidity of Jake. All right? Jake is so simple. How long will you simple ones love simplicity? Go watch a fucking IUIC video, man. Okay? Go watch a fucking HOI video. Go watch a fuck somebody else, man. Don't watch my goddamn videos. The fuck you watching them for? This is Psalms. This is what this is where it came from. This is straight out of King David's mouth. Okay, Psalms sixty nine and twenty two. Let their table become a snare before them, and that's what times we in, man. Okay, and that which and that which should have been for their welfare, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I was trying to open you niggas' eyes up, man. Trying to show you, trying to edify you, brothers, man. But you can't be edified. Okay, you're broken cisterns, man. 
Your vessels can't hold no goddamn work, water, no weight. You're easily distracted. Bird brains can't focus. Okay? It says, let their table become... Just same thing with the scriptures. You read a little something that offends you, and you just turn the fuck off, man. You know? But, that hey, that's the reason. The Lord did that on purpose, because he rejected you niggas. He doesn't want you. You're destined for destruction. Two-thirds of Israel is destined to be destroyed. We get on Esau, Edom. We get on the other nations, but two-thirds of Jake is going to be destroyed, man. Going to be destroyed. And it's, 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 right, it's rightfully so. Just as when we came out of Egypt, okay? A lot of you niggas had to die then. Ain't no difference, okay? Psalm 69 and 22. Let their table become a snare before them. And that which it should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. So these videos, these um, these testimonies, they're there to trap you up, man. They're there to trap you up. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them. So you ain't going to get away, man. The Lord is doing it for, for a purpose. Okay. Pour out thine indignation. That's righteous anger. And he's rightfully so to be anger, angry because you scoff and mock at his prophets, man. You got men out here making their bodies a living sacrifice, catching hell just like you in this world, just like you. But take time out of their day to put up videos to try to edify the elect. And you niggas just going to scoff. Show me how to do it, man. I, I gave you the link to the video. Was it a good video? Was the Danny Glover video a good video? Not my video, but the actual one from the Real News what Network. If, if not, if, if, if it was, do your own video on it. Show me how to do it. Show me how to do it, but you won't. Because you're just a scoffer and a scorner, and you don't know what the fuck is going on. So shut your goddamn mouth. Shut your mouth, man. It says, uh, let their habitation, Psalm 69 and 25, let their habitation be desolate. And let none dwell in their tents. Okay? Matter, I'm going to keep going down on you, Dan. Because this is for Jake, man. Two-thirds of Israel. Like I said, you're going to come back in the kingdom in the right mind. But, hey, you're going to know death by pain first, man. You're going to learn death by pain. Um, it says, uh, Psalm 69 and 26. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten. And they, have, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. And that's all y'all do is talk shit, man. That's all you talk shit. Add iniquity unto their iniquity. Because you're already going off. You're already sinning. We all sin. But hey, our sins are covered, Lord's willing, if we endure till the end. Okay? We keep pushing. But you niggas, you ain't doing a goddamn thing but scoffing. So your sins aren't covered, man. It says, add iniquity unto their iniquity. And let them not come into thy righteousness. He don't fucking want you. He don't want you to receive this, man. Okay? He wants you to, to just keep sinning. He gave you over to the vile lust of your own affections. He wants you to keep being a faggot. He wants you to keep being an adulterer. He wants you to keep being in Kemet. Keep doing it. Don't watch my goddamn videos. My videos are for the hopeful elect. Keep doing whatever the fuck you niggas are doing. Keep watching your fucking world star. You, you keep Snapchatting your pussy. Keep, keep doing all that shit, man. Don't come over here. Okay? It says, add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteousness. Okay? I'm going to shut that down. Keep it moving. I got to go to work soon. So lock it for, um, you know, like I said, I got allergies, man. I live in Florida, and the pollen is heavy over here, man. You know, and like I said, Shalom to the brothers that, uh, you know, uh, one brother put a, what do you call it? Black seed oil. The water for that. I'm going to check out that black seed oil. I was doing my research on that. If you're going to put something down, put something uh, edifying, man. That brother, he, you know, he gave a he, good video. Um, uh, you should get some black seed oil, bro. Good, good comment. Good comment, you know. Put something edifying. Uh, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Uh, yeah, they don't want to get straight to the point. Uh, let me read this out. Let me start at the top. Matthew 12 and 33. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt. And that's, that's, that's the way it is. You either righteous or you wicked. There's no gray areas, man. You either with this thing or you not. Okay? Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You can't be double-minded. Okay? Can't serve two masters. All right? 
either make the tree good and his fruit good, meaning his works, okay, the people that, that are following, like I said, the sincere Akim, I want good fruit, I don't want no corrupt fruit, like I said, you corrupt fruit, you scoffers and you scorners, kick fucking rocks, either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit, and half of you niggas got no goddamn fruit. I click on your page, ain't a goddamn thing on there. No subscribers, no video, no nothing. Just your ugly mug up in the in, in, in the picture. Alright? No fruit. Like I said, OJ, and this is in a red letter. Who you guys call Jesus Christ? His name is Yahawashai. And some dumb nigga gonna come on my comment board talk about uh, the same Esau as, the, as Japheth. You dumb fuck. And then say y y Yahushua. Like I said, the Lord ain't dealing with you niggas, man. Go do your own goddamn video on Yahushua and Esau being Japheth. Do your own thing, brother. Get the fuck off my page. It says, uh, old generation of vipers, how can you be an evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of thy heart, the mouth speaketh. So every time you open your mouth, you're just talking shit, man. You can't say nothing positive. Just straight shit talkers. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good things. And that's what I was trying to do. I, I watched the fucking video. I thought it was edifying. Even though I didn't feel good. Even though I felt like shit. I wanted to edify my brothers and sisters, man. And what happens? You fucking scoffers and scorners come on the page as usual. Hey, but that's your fucking lot. You sealing your fate. You know? The wadi how about shimmy how shy. That let, her, let, let me know I'm, I'm on the right path. Okay? I don't want a bunch of likes and a bunch of con con. That, that ain't it, man. The prophets were hated, man. And nobody addressed anything I said in that video. Nobody said anything about anything I said in that. You just was scoffing about dumb shit. About me pausing the video. Pausing the video. Let him speak. Let him speak. Nigga, go watch the goddamn video yourself, you lazy bastard. Okay? It says, uh, it's the main point though. Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, men and women, okay? Every idle word, everything you say is being accounted for. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And the day of judgment is drawn near, drastically. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Okay? Straight forward and to the point, man. Uh... Matthew 13 and 10. This is the next chapter. The very next chapter. Okay. Matthew 13 and 10. And the, dis and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Why? Because their table is made a snare and a trap, like King David said. Okay. Like the, the, um, the scripture said, it's here for you, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, so you can trap yourself up, man. That's the whole point. <laughs> the Lord wants to be justified whooping your ass, man, and he's going to be rightfully so. You know, like when, you, when your parents whoop your ass and she, they get into it and they start talking that shit? I told your ass you should have shut your goddamn mouth when my prophets was out there. That's what's going to happen to you niggas, man. Then shall they know a prophet was among them when you're getting that ass whooped, when you're fleeing from the persecution, when, you, when, 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 you, when you're watching your children starve, okay? When, the, when them uh, Gurga troops is on your ass, when, the, when you see the missiles raining on your head, okay? Then you're going to know that you should have kept your mouth when you went to the house of the Lord, okay? It says, uh... Uh, Matthew 13 and 12. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. And you see how the Lord cleared me up too? That's funny. That's funny. I, I had, um, my allergies was real bad yesterday too. But now all of a sudden my allergies ain't that, that bad. Because man's going of the Lord. Everything is set up to fucking trap you niggas, man. The Lord is only concerned with the elect. Everything is for the elect's sake. Okay? And the sincere brothers, like I said, you saw them comment on there. That the sniffling, pausing the video, none of that matters. I sat down and watched hours, videos, hours long, two hours, three hours long of the elder apostle to in him in his fucking, in it, on his couch, man, on his couch, uncut, because I was trying to be edified. Okay. It says 
Matthew 13 and 12, For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But Actually, I'll keep going. Yeah, Matthew 13 and 12, For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hear and they hear not, neither do they understand. So you saw my video, not because everything was done for a reason. You saw the title, you started to hear, but the Lord didn't really want you to sit through the whole video. The Lord only wanted the elect to sit through the whole video. The, le the Lord only wanted the elect to be edified, okay? But he has to put it out there so it's, you, can't, you can't say you, it wasn't out there for you to access it, okay? That's why we're constant, in season, out of season. We're on the high, all both highways, okay? Because the internet is a highway. The highways and by the hedges. Going out there preaching on the street, that's a highway. And the internet also is a highway, okay? So we're on both highways, so you, there ain't going to be no excuse that you didn't hear about us, you didn't know about us, ain't going to be none of that. And the Lord going to pull the fucking beautiful bean footage of you scoffing on the internet or whatever the fuck you was doing. You're going to have to give account, man. It says, uh, uh, Matthew 13 and 13, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hear and they hear not, neither do they understand. Y'all niggas don't really know what this thing is about. You don't know what's really going on, okay? And in them is, full, is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, Isaiah, okay? Which said, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time, any time, because the do grace, the doors of mercy is still there. You still got a grace period, man. But and you niggas, <laughs> you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna adhere to it. You just gonna keep being a knucklehead. For this people's heart is wax gross, and the ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But the Lord don't want you to be healed. But blessed are your eyes, the elect, the hopeful elect, the sincere brothers and sisters that I, that I, that I do my videos for. Blessed are your eyes, for they see and your eyes, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see. And have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Okay, got one more, and I'm gonna shut it down. Cause like I said, the re he don't want you. This this is what he really want to do to you. This really this is what the Lord want. Cause like I said, you the same wicked Pharisees and Sadducees from back in the day, trying to hem them up, man. Trying to hem them up. Okay, you came back in the same lot. <laughs> All right. So this is, I'm going to shut it down on this one. Ezekiel 9 and 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man whom is the mark, or the mark who is sealed from judgment, all right, exempt from judgment, okay? And begin at my sanctuary. This is the, this is the main point here, though, okay? Because like I said, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. I know a lot of those... Uh, Views, a lot of those comments are, are agent provocateurs, bots, scoffers, scorners, okay? But some of y'all are Israelites, man. Some of y'all are Jake. And y'all know y'all know y'all Israel. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You're not chosen, man. You have the house of Saul. It is what it is. Over here, this is the house of David, man. The tabernacle of David is being rebuilt over here. You niggas is of another house, okay? And like I said, it's gonna come a time that look you don't you don't really understand who you're dealing with. You dealing with an austere man, a stern man, a strict man. You think you think he's laughing and joking and giggling, ha ha and hee hee and kee keeing? It don't work like that, man. You guys have no idea the power that you're dealing with. You guys playing around, man. It ain't a game, not at all. But half of y'all don't even believe, probably. Ezekiel nine and six. Slay utterly old and young, and like I said, your children gonna be killed. Your mother, your father, your auntie, your uncles. Your cousins, your neighbors, they're going to be dead, slain utterly, okay? The angels ain't going to have no mercy. When them death angels are unleashed, unleashed, man, ain't no turning them back, man, you know? Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man who is, 
whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. So it's going to start in Yasharala first, man. Yasharala, y'all always talk scoffing and scorning, man. The judgment is going to begin here first, man. Jacob's trouble is going to affect you the most, okay? Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. And he said, go unto them, defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth and slew in the city. But anyway, with that being said, Lord willing, it was edifying. And uh, I'm going to shut it down because I got to go to the plantation, man. Like I said, uh, we almost I always say we almost out of here. Keep pushing. I do my videos for the left. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Keep pushing. Don't let any man take your crown. Fuck these scoffers and these scorners. Like I said, that that's their lot. They're supposed to be doing that. They're marking themselves for judgment. Okay? And like I said, we almost out of here. Shalom.